à tous de DDO, attention pour les décomptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcain. Allumage EAP, décollage. We are underway. Did you watch the arms the pull back as schedule? And did you count to seven? After those seven seconds, a slight wait, and then boom, away we go. You saw Ariane 5 begin her mission, rising off the ground here in French Guiana, leaving a trail of gold. And right on time, 1834 local with her two passengers, Arabsat 6B, also known as Bader 7, and GSAT 15. The boosters are providing 92% of the thrust right now, propelling the launcher along its trajectory at an ever higher velocity, getting her away from the pull of the Earth. And there is a lot to pull. Ariane's weight at liftoff, 775 tons, and most of that is fuel. She's burning two tons of fuel per second. She's now following the flight program in the onboard computer, which gives all the commands, including the separations. We'll soon begin to see those. We are in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered. The last is not. We'll describe each in turn. Right now, the first flight phase, the Vulcan engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will burn their propellant in just under two and a half minutes. They're the first that will be jettisoned. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone as he calls out right now. Everything is okay on board. We're heading east, out over the Atlantic. The decision to build the site here in French Guiana, made in the 60s when France wanted a new base, was part, in part made for its opening on the water to allow for launches over uninhabited areas. On the bottom of your screen, our altitude on the left and our speed on the right. We need a speed at orbital injection about uh, 9 kilometers per second. Our altitude will be a, about 1,000 kilometers up for our first passenger, so watch for those numbers. You just saw the flame out of the boosters. You can see them falling away. The white dot below them is the main engine, which continues to burn. You can see what it looks like up there. The boosters are jettisoned. There's a second one out of camera range on the left. What happens is the onboard computer detects there's no more fuel in the tanks. As they have no more propellant to burn, thrust decreases, and the computer senses the drop in acceleration, decides to separate them. A nice shot of the main stage burning and the two boosters falling away. Three points of light as the DDO calls out, all is okay on board. We say 67 uh, kilometers altitude, for instance, that's the... Uh, the uh, altitude where the boosters were jettisoned. Sometimes it might not be the, the figure you see on the screen. This is quite normal to do to a slight delay in the telemetry coming in here. Coming up on separation of the fairing, due in uh, just about a second or two, and you'll see that on the animation. You may be able to see it on the camera that we have here. There it is. You see the other two points of light falling away. Wonderful shots. The sky is just so clear tonight. On the onboard camera, you see what happens there. There's another half out of camera range on the right. Separation is given by two pyrotechnical systems. One is horizontal, one's vertical. They're cords that actually remove the fairing by a small controlled explosion. 